what does it mean to be successful and what does it take to be successful as a product manager managing artificial intelligence products? So I've already talked to you in the previous videos about the type of product managers and artificial intelligence product managers that exist. In this video, I actually want to give some more general advice to be successful, even if you are not an artificial intelligence product manager. So the very first thing is might seem trivial, but it is actually the most important. And it is simply focus on the value that you, do, that you deliver to your customers. Why is that important? It is, of, of course, a one-on-one -on -one tip for product managers. Actually, it makes me thinking of the book I wrote with Michael Fox, the SVP of uh, Product Manager at uh, a very renewed uh, AI startup. Basically, it is a one-on-one -on -one tip because when people start to hear the word artificial intelligence, they immediately start to think that uh, they have to focus on artificial intelligence. Instead, you had to focus on the value that you deliver to your customer. So basically, understand your customer's needs, both stated and unconscious, as well as you can. So that's advice number one. Now, for the number two, uh, we're going to go into more details of AI. So the one thing I believe you need to understand is that an artificial intelligence product will evolve over time. So this is an important differentiator with respect to other products. Think of it, if you have a driller, of course it will improve over time, but will not evolve over time. You can, it can be a little bit lighter, maybe the engine goes a little bit, the motor goes a little bit faster, it can be a little bit more powerful, but 10 years after you launch the product substantially, it's still the same thing. Instead, with an artificial intelligent product, think of Alexa, after a number of years, it will learn more and more to communicate with you. So the number of things they can do, it actually expands. So it's a different concept. This concept didn't exist before. And the other important aspect, I think, the point number three that I want to uh, really the tip number three that I want to communicate is the UX design of an artificial intelligence product needs to be conceived to evolve over time and to accommodate errors. This is very simple to understand. Think of Google search. It's, it's the most, it's one of the most advanced AI form uh, that we experience every day. And basically you search something, maybe you don't find exactly what you want, but most of the times in the first 10 uh, items in the, in, the, in the first page, you find something that somewhat at least partially satisfies your needs. And that, that is a way to account for an error, designing a user interface that can tolerate an error, because the, the user works out of the interaction with the product in a way such that the user is still satisfied. Think instead of you having to talk to a voice device and uh, ordering a pizza and having to order a pizza but this voice device doesn't understand what you're saying it happens to me many times because i'm not a native uh, english speaker and therefore uh, after five minutes i try i just give up and i pick up the phone and i just do it by the phone all right so these are three tips that if you really understand i think will set you apart in the cast for being a successful product manager of the forthcoming avalanche of AI products that are going to go into the market. And by the way, if you want to learn more, you can uh, check the videos on this very channel. There are many videos on, on these subjects. And of course, if you even want to go to a further level, check out my books and our course on InnoDemia.com. Thank you.